Welcome to another Good E-Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we are unboxing the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow Light. This is the first e-reader in the world pretty well to allow you to read in the dark. So we're going to show you everything that comes in the box as well as a first time startup. So Peter, take it away. All right, you can check out the box here. It's very similar to the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch. Uh, first generation, you'll see here that boxes show many similarities, just the design features are changed. So on the back, got some new graphics going, world's number one reader, breakthrough glow light. You see it comes with a power adapter built in screen protector, which is retail $18 value included. So yeah, enough uh, horsing around, let's crack this open. So we'll save the reader till the end, as per usual. User manual and startup guide. This will tell you everything you need to know about the device. Check it out before you start using it if you're unfamiliar. Or dive right in and have some fun, your choice. Then on the bottom compartment, you have the, as promised, wall charger, wall outlet to uh, USB. And this uh, can be bypassed if you want to plug your nook directly into your computer with the USB cable but if you don't have a computer handy you can use the wall outlet. Now the first generation nook simple touch actually did not come with a DC adapter or a wall charger so it's pretty interesting that they were to throw that in and normally in the past they sold these accessories separately so if you wanted to buy the book light as well as the charger it would actually cost you about thirty to forty dollars more. <clears throat> now on to the device itself. So you can see here there's a couple different design uh, features compared to the um, past Simple Touch, and we will get into a full video comparing the two. But the first thing you'll notice is that uh, the outside of the bezel, the very frame, if you were to call it, is uh, now gray instead of black. So. Other than that, the device is pretty much identical in every way because they do use the same housing. So we'll just go over it here. Micro USB port. These are not speakers. These are uh, just design points. Status light. Moving over to the right, you have your expandable memory slot via micro USB. It goes up to 32 gigs incidentally. Unlike the Kindle line of e-readers, you can expand your memory on the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch line. Exactly. Uh, another two design points here. Those are used for the Barnes & Noble Nook official cases, so they slide into the cases. They have these little punctuation marks. Some users pointed that out in the past. And you'll see the uh, thumbnail power button. This is used to lock and unlock your device as well as turn it on and off. The back has remained uh, unchanged with this kind of hard rubber backing for uh, very good grip as well as the embossed N or as Michael says the upside down U. <laughs> so let's turn this on. Slide to unlock. Uh, pretty much this device as, as said before is identical to the Nook Simple Touch first generation so the really the only design change is the uh, glow light and uh, we're gonna give you a quick look at what it looks like there it is on so we're gonna turn off the lights and then we'll be right back for you guys to see the glow light. Now we're going to turn on the glow feature on the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with glow light and this is accomplished by holding down on the N for about two seconds and there you go there is around eight different LED lights along the inside of the bezel and this is much like the you can kind of see them on the side right here and that's more or less where the infrared displays actually are so it's allows you to read it in the dark and this is super cool so check out our other videos such as our full review video and all of our comparison videos on the Mars Noble Simple Touch with Glow Light versus other e-readers so stay tuned to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash good e-reader and for good e-reader.com my name is Michael this is Peter and everybody take care